Okay, this time I've got a file that's already open and I'm going to sub out a word for a different word. So I'm substituting caterpillar for butterfly. So I have my file already opened here and check for failure. Um, but you can got it closed and here I'm ready to read. So if I'm subbing out a word and it says I can assume under lowercase and stuff, I'm going to just straight up search for that word. I'm going to read word by word and search for that word. Now, this wouldn't do it if it was like embedded in another word um, but just for simplicity's sake let's not worry about that so I need a string to read it into and here's my read loop so I'm going to read from the file into the word and that's going to read um, using spaces and new lines as delimiters um, which is what I want and so I'm going to say if this guy is kept caterpillar how do you spell caterpillar? Is that how I consistently spelled it in my file? Let's see. Oops. I'll just be consistent. I don't know if that's right. Uh, <laughs> then I'm going to, if it was that, I'm going to print out butterfly. And otherwise, I'm going to. This is not helpful. Let's see out the word itself. And um, when I read like this, it's going to strip the spaces out. So I'm going to inject them back in just so it's actually legible. Um, so right here, I'm just going to see out of space. That'll put one at the end, but oh well, we'll see what we want to on the screen. Hold on, I lost my file closing. Yeah. All right, let's see if that worked. Damn. Nope, what's my problem? Uh, lost. Oh, there it was. It just ran down the screen. All right. Let's try this again. When a butterfly is hungry, we'll eat anything. Blah, 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 blah. Here's butterfly again. Let's see what it is. The two instances of caterpillar. Yes, yes, cool. 